point break going into the second quarter and they're kicking towards the lake end at football park as Spiel tries to tap it forward. Chance now for Smith. He was tackled by Platt. He got his handball away to Painter. Had a great first quarter. Up towards half forward. Quick little give on by Hollis. On towards Klopp. Klopp will line up. Kick snaps away. Goal. Looks pretty good. First goal to Robert Klopp playing his 150th today for Sturt. And that would have taken less than 30 seconds. Sturt 5-4. Centrals 2-2. What a game John, Pla uh, John Painter was playing, and so was John Platton for that matter. But uh, John Painter was the architect of that goal once again. Picked up a loose ball in the centre of the ground. It finished up in the hands of Robert Klopp, who's had a uh, reasonably effective uh, 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 play on the game so far for centre-half four without being super effective. And uh, he got his first goal for the game. So less than a minute gone in the second quarter, and uh, Sturt have snuck away to a 20-point lead. Cree taps it on well. Peter Reid couldn't hold it at the half-back line, and so Hull moves it forward for Central District. Peter Krieg again tries to tap forward. Central's doing it the hard way at the moment. Hull, now Painter stolen by Smith. Smith and Painter combining well again. Out for Hollis. Paul Hollis came on in the opening minutes of the game. Taps it. Oh, now that's not exactly educated footy. Easy kick for Thomas, and he'll pick out Platten on centre wing. And Gotta be 15. Patton will go to ground and they'll sort themselves out. All star wrestling. About the only way to stop John Platt and bury him, I think. <laughs> he'd still find a way out of it. <laughs> Can he ever? Well, he's got the 15, she deserved, and he's exactly on centre wing on the outer side. Kick number five. Short. Brendan Little, always oh, dropped it. Puts his handball on, though, towards Drogamala. Drogamala's kicks beautifully smothered. Reed. Backwards, uh, Frost. Frost kick towards centre ground. Was looking for Martin. Spalled away. Off hands to chase on. David Walker's the one who gets the run at it. He gets on the left boot. Comes out very wide. Wilmot's out a mile from goals. He can't keep it in. And that might have been just pretty much what Sturt needed to throw in at this stage because Ian Wilmot caught 60, 70 metres away from the goal mouth. Throw in. Both in front spot. Clomp. Platten. Connolly. I. Still loose. Another side able to take it away from this little scrimmage as McGrath finally brings it out of defence for the Bulldogs and goes short and finds Peter Krieg. He'll take off. Left foot kick over centre wing. Finds Mark Hull. Hull on towards Walters. Walters runs towards the centre. His left foot kick is short. Brenton Owens is found on the centre half forward position. Superb pass. So Tony Owens, of course. Tony Owens won the McGarry medal last year playing for West Torrens and his kick runs right into the square. Here's De Rouge. Should be paid the mark. And he is. So begin De Rouge in the side today. Here, Cousins not available, of course. So just perhaps 15 metres out. He lines up and puts it on the board. That's a valuable one for Central. It's going to be a bit closer to Sturt. Three goals, two now behind the Blues, 5 4. Well, Ian De Rouge enjoys an enormous height advantage over his opponent, Mervyn Kane, the, uh, the Sturt coach. Ian De Rouge would be about six foot six, I would say, in the old, uh, in the old money. And um, any high ball in the square, he must be favoured to mark. And that was the way they went that time, Central. Intelligent planning by Cowboy Neal to use the boy in the square like that. And he's got his first goal, and uh, Central will move on to three goals too. Frank Spiel in ruck for Sturt. He's averaged something like 40 hit outs so far this season. He just won another one there as well. It's loose. Tapped on by Bohm. Smith couldn't get his kick away. Krieg. Connolly gets it on quickly. Chance for Pryor. He jams it on the left boot. It's high and long towards Tony Owen. Spalled away. Picked up by Peter Krieg. His kick goes further up than along. Fry. Short towards the boundary line. It'll be a, a chase on for Frost. We get one in the back as blatant as ever, but uh, I think they'll play it on. That's Andrew Downs. He'll run it right along the wing. He's come a long way out from the back. Playing well, Downs. There's a big fly by Central's players. Didn't come off, though. Stern in possession. Not for long, maybe. Hollis trying to grab it. Todd Viney on the bottom there. Hollis now with the ball. Gets it on towards Martin. The ball is out of the pack. Around the neck. Paul Hollis has picked up a free kick on the half forward line. This could be within shooting range for him. No question about that, Keith. He would kick the distance. He's a good kick. Accuracy would be the problem. This is his fourth kick, and Paul Hollis has been a goal shooter for the Blues in his years with them. Onto that left foot, the characteristic kick into the square only. Frank Smith. He's paid it. It's a good mark. Had front position. 
took the ball down with him. So at the five-minute mark, Sturt have a chance to kick away that lead again. They're 14 points up at the moment. Can the Ruckman, with his first kick of the day, take them to 20 points? Yes, he can. That's the break. Six goals four against 3-2. Well, it's tit for tat at the moment. We've seen both big fellows take a mark in the square and kick a goal at the resumption of this, uh, this quarter. And uh, both sides have kicked the one goal for the particular space of time they've been out there. And uh, Frank Spiel's playing his usual game, not getting a lot of kicks, but doing the heavy work around the ground, knocking the ball down to his Rovers. And I'm getting a bit frustrated by this changing the Rovers off the bench, I tell you. They've just done it again. Stephen Gumley on, David Eye off. And uh, I don't see any great value in that. They go hot and cold, and they really can't feel part of the game as a Rover should feel by resting out of the pocket. But they've got their reasons for doing it. Back in the centre, Trevor Rowe still tagging Motley. Centre bounce at the six-minute mark of the second quarter. Spill again the tap, tapped on by Painter to Bohm. Bohm trying to break clear, a high kick. Walter's got his eye on this one and takes the mark. Walters will go short towards half forward. He's picked out Phil Graham. No, he didn't uh, mark it, but his recovery was great. On towards uh, Des Drogamala. Drogamala's kick is short towards full forward. Deru oh, he's got him. He's got him. Well, he seemed to tap that one up in the air and swooped on it with the two hands, claimed the mark, and he's been paid. Yeah, similar that, that similar uh, position to Frank Spiel, isn't it? About 10 metres out. Kick number three directly in front. Deruj has now got uh, two on the board for Central Districts. And they've got 4-2 to Sturt 6-4. Well, he's managed to grab the ball out of the pack. Not paid, though. Conley's still on the bottom of that pack. Now the ball's broken clear. Walk. He decided to just tap it on to Viney. Viney shot off the boot, and that's a beauty. It's a good goal for Sturt. Seven goals, five. Central, 4-2. Yes, a nice piece of play by uh, David Ward from the wing. Hasn't had a big say in the game so far. Nonetheless, he was in a position then to bore in for the, the ball laying between him and his opponent. He took the odds to nothing and tapped it on to Todd Viney, who's an opportunist. He also has had very little say in the game today because I think William Bunger Burn has been well on top from his back flank. But that time, he took the, the, the ball, looked at the goals and put it right through. Double Blues by 21 points. 15-minute mark of the second quarter. Spiel... Again, using a bit of height, won the tap. Chance for uh, Smith. He turns, needs support. Looks out wide towards mm. Frost. He missed the ball. The tall bloke, Brendan Little. Well, he was held onto without the ball, and he'll win the free kick. So it'll be Little for Centrals from the edge of the square at headquarters, and he'll drive towards that left forward flank. Looking for Owens out there, and Graham Whittles he picks up, gets his handball on towards Fry. He turns, Gee. long one out towards Downs. Eddie, and Eddie really Fry's in a lot of trouble finding the body today. Direction wasn't there, was it? He's been a very inefficient player so far, Eddie. He's playing like a man that hasn't played for a while, which is, you know, that's his problem, I guess. He's had two games. This is his second game for the year. Throwing in front of the scoreboard at Football Park. Clever tap on. It's Jamie Thomas really trying to go through it. No, it's Tony Owens, but it's now been snaffled. Peter Reid is the one on the bottom of the pack. The centre-half back for Sturt. He gets up. He's a real dash of this Owens, Keith. Yes, he, uh, he was very fast in the Torrance Reserves last year, and, of course, he won the McGarry Medal in the Reserves, and right. uh, he's shaping up well today. But Central's have made a change very quickly. Uh, Peter Collins has come on. Michael Waters has gone off. He's with the ball. We see Barney and Hearn. Barney front spot. He's got it now. Jams it onto the boot. He's hooked it back around the corner beautifully towards Wilmot. But Peter Buffett has made front spot. Peter Bubner will settle things down. Take things to the outer side. He's looking for Bythene and has found him. Bythene from the half-back line. In towards Pryor. Pryor plays it on. He's looking for Thomas. Good tackle by Martin. Thomas gets the kick away, though. Frank Spill goes for the tap. Too hard to paint it. Stolen by Pryor. Pryor out to Connolly. Connolly's in under... Ooh, under real pressure. Blues into attack again. Painter rides it well. Waits for the hand pass on. Daryl Smith has to reach for it. No, oh, it's A few bumps. Oh, oh, no. There's a goal. Sturt don't get this one, then they want to give it away. It's a good goal, and it gives them a very handy break. Takes them to 27 points. Sturt, 8-5. Central's 4-2. That's something you don't see very often in league football. A man standing, standing unopposed, 15 metres from goal, was virtually... <laughs> Almost like he had leprosy. <laughs> Paul Hollis standing there all by his lonesome. Uh, the Sturt boys around the centre of the ground picked up the loose ball and popped the, the quick, 
quick uh, kick into the forward line. Paul Hollis, the easiest of goals. And uh, I think that's his second goal for the game. Yes, he kicked their first goal, and now he's kicked their eighth goal. Frank Spear will probably ruck all day for the double blues as he gets that other smash, and the blues will drive into attack again. Long kick over the half forward line. Wilmot from behind, Bubb in the front spot. He tries to take off, grabbed by Motley. Opportunity for Martin. Handball comes out on to Hollis, and Hollis will line up for another one. Double blues are cruising, and Hollis is playing very well. He's got three on the board so far. And Sturt move away. 9 5 Central's 4 2. I know I've been criticising the change of the Ravers off the bench. But in doing that, it's given Sturt a chance to have six set forwards. Well, not six set forwards, but five set forwards because uh, their ruck rovers are changing off the half forward flank. But one of those set forwards, of course, is Paul Hollis, and he's kicked his third goal. So, uh, for all my criticism of roving, uh, changing the rovers off the bench, they've got three goals out of the, the permanent forward pocket in Paul Hollis. So it's working. Kevin there looking very worried. And indeed he might because Sturt have got away to a 33 point break here. We're at the 18 minute mark of the second quarter. Centrals now trying to get it into attack again. Stephen Connolly. He kicks, doesn't quite come off. Tony Owens, the bounce doesn't favour him. Neither does it. Len Warren. Martin. Spiel. Spiel waits to Len Warren. Got his kick away despite a lot of pressure. Viney. Todd Viney, tailed by Platten. Still gets a kick. That's an angel bruiser. Courage needed here. There's little that finally got underneath it. Peter Bubner, the crumbs. Oh, his handball was brilliantly stolen. Comes out wide, Motley. So the double blues machine is moving along. And Motley is the magnificent kick of the ball, uh, Rick. This will be kick number seven despite the tagging by Trevor Rowe today. And there's no question to get the distance. It's only a matter once again of the accuracy bit. Wilmot's uh, made a lead, but Motley's going to go long. His kick is long. It's And the Double Blues have got 10 goals, 5 to Central, 4-2. Well, they've really exploded into life to start this quarter. Six goals for the quarter. Peter Motley has finally shaken off the shackles that uh, Trevor Rowe has restricted him with, with his, uh, his, own, his own brand of tagging. And uh, as we just mentioned, seven kicks for the game so far. That's his second goal. So more than six goals to break now as the Blues have a great second quarter here at the park. Frank Spill wins yet another knock. Painter gets yet another tap on. Now things come a bit unstuck as Walk can't get it, but Jeff Martin keeps his head down over it. Platten's there for Central Districts. He can't take the ball out. Scoop away. The throw is paid, and McGrath will pick it up for Centrals. Who goes short to the centre of the ground? Stephen Connolly. Walk making sure he doesn't take off, but Connolly does as soon as he lets go and goes towards the outer side. He's looking out there for the new bloke on in Collins for Central Districts is uh, Fry. Wild handball to Hull. Hull gets one on towards Collins. He taps on towards uh, Drogamulla. Platten it was that picked it up. Now Drogamulla with the ball. He'll go over the top to Phil Graham. Phil Graham, do they need this one, Central's home? Graham's kick is good. Phil Graham at uh, named a full forward today for Central's. He's got his first on the board. Centrals have got 5-2, still trailing Sturt on 10-5. Boy, did they need that goal? Well, you know, like, they just can't get, get their act together in their forward line at Central. They, they've got a lot of blokes running around up there, but things aren't happening for them at all. And they've, they've tried, or Coach Kevin Neal has tried the switch of bringing uh, Peter Collins onto the ground to replace Michael Walters, but, you know, it's only a move for the sake of a move at the moment because he hasn't had a big say in, in play. And mind you, neither did Michael Walters while he was out there. And that's their fifth goal, and Michael Graham's first. Phil Graham's first, sorry. So the change is on again as Sturt change the Rovers off the bench. Central District's now in possession again, quickly on the prior. His kick long. Philip Graham almost the take, recovers quickly, gets the boot to ball. This looks good, not good enough. In fact, nowhere near it. Bit unfortunate that. I thought they almost could have paid the mark to Phil Graham. He just brought it down for that split half second that you sometimes need to do to be paid a, a mark on the forward line. Didn't happen for him. Mervyn Kane looking for Frank Spiel. Fine mark, Frank Spiel. He's uh, rucking well. He's been good in the air today and he's even kicked a goal. Looks good for the state side. Frank Spiel's kick across the ground. It'll fall loose. No man's territory. Viney bounce favoured him beautifully. Over the top to Greg Whittlesey. Whittlesey's off. Has a lot. Luxury of a bounce. The handball over the top to Eddie Fry. Eddie Fry's kick. 
takes long. He'll go right to the square. Victor will go all the way. And Eddie Fry will put one on the board. And Sturt, they're looking good. 11. As we hit the 23-minute mark in the second quarter at Football Park, DeRouge is in the ruck now for Central District. Coming through fast then. Couldn't pick it. Is that Collins, the new player on? The ball moving forward to Phil Graham. Platten will pick it up for Central Districts. He's going to have a look at the goals. Onto the left boot. And that's a beauty. Central's quick to reply. Six goals, two. Sturt, 11-5. There's the champ, John Platten. Has been a little restricted this quarter. I think that uh, they are running the tag on John Platten, the opposition. They're changing both rovers off the bench, as we've mentioned, 101 times. But in doing that, they're keeping th those guys uh, in touch with John Platten when they come on the ground. They virtually run around just getting in the road of John Platten, but uh, had no effect then. He ran into an open goal virtually at the end of his work and kicked his second for the game. They need plenty more from John Platten Central to drag this game off. Approaching full time of the second quarter, the bounce to Frank Spearley goes for the big smash, picked up by Connolly, concedes ground but uses pace, drives out wide, Sun worrying a few of the players out there, a chance for Brendan Little, he picks up his handball to, well I think it was towards Pryor, missed him completely, Collins finally drug him out. now Pryor, long kick, long right to the square, Kane there, the back of the pack downs, oh. downs uh, has a look at Platten coming at him and zips over the line for the conceded point. Now, so a bit of both in the square now. That height disadvantage is not so marked. Uh, Mervyn Kane can handle him quite comfortably, as we just saw down in that contest for the ball. So we come up to full time in the second quarter as Downs' kick comes long to the grandstand wing. In front, David Walk, nice pickup. Gets his kick forward, looking for Martin. In front of him is Jamie Thomas. Good ride by Thomas on to Connolly. Connolly has to sidestep. His short kick will be found by Spiel. Frank Spiel. Wastes no time, goes towards the centre of the ground. Running players, Greg Whittlesey gets around, gets a heavy bump from Hearn, but he gets his kick away up towards Walmart. Oh, good mark. Peter Bubner read that beautifully in flight. Peter Bubner quick to play onto the outer side. Player will take the ball. No, he doesn't. He's spoilt by Warren. Collins. Peter Collins has come on, and it was paid the mark, I guess. It's yep. his first kick for the game. There, and, was, uh, there was a mark. So he moves it on now to Hull. Hull can't keep it. Reed forces it out for Sturt. No, throw it. Hull's got to lift his game and set a half forward. He just can't certainly get his hands around the ball and, and, and retain possession of it. Out of side, the throw in. Spiel and Derouge, almost a dead heat, taken off hands by Gumley. Quick handball comes out to Warren. Warren on to Motley. Motley's kick will go over the half forward line. Smith. Well, it's over the heads of the players leading out. And well, Darrell Smith took an easy mark on the chest. This will be kick number eight. I'm sure. going to go short. Eddie Fry. And Eddie Fry's just kicked one from about this position. He pops it onto the boot and he sets up a bit twice. He has for his second goal, both in this quarter. And Sturt, 12 goal five. Central, 6-3. Well, that's the inexperience of Peter Collins, I, I imagine, because Eddie Fry is standing him at the moment. And he's just run into the forward line again, completely unopposed. Now, mind you, Andrew Smith could have had a shot for goal from that position. But he elected to go short to Eddie Fry. He was 15 metres better off, and he kicked the easiest of goals. Eddie's second for the quarter from the half-back flank. Fair effort. Almost the 27-minute mark, and Sturt gained that 39-point advantage again. Can they retain it to half-time? Platten, uh, Painter, I should say, tried to get the kick away, and there's a free kick being picked up for Sturt in the square. It's David Frost. Onto the left boot he goes to the half forward line. Here's a chance for Wilmot. Oh, almost a chain. He gets the ball forward. That's Klonk over it. Number 22 for Sturt, his old number. Playing his 150th for Sturt today as he traps the ball at the centre half forward position. Approaching 27 minutes of the second quarter. The bounce down on the half forward line. Sturt into attack. They've been there most of this quarter. Thomas. That's wide to McGrath. Chance now for Pryor, he's got the ball, has a look, goes short. Leads on, that's uh, Collins. Collins couldn't take the grab, but he picks up the crumbs back to Pryor, put him under all sorts of pressure. Motley gets row the tackle. Motley's handball towards Platten, in fact. Pryor still with Platten. Platten grabbed, grabbed by Motley. Oh, oh shot on. Well, it's a good grab. There's only one problem, Platten had the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets his kick. It's long towards Mark Hull. 
He must have heard me as soon as he's got us a hold in his marks. <laughs> he does, and he's found Phil Graham. No, he hasn't in the back, surely, yet. Downs the offender for Sturt, and away goes Graham. Doesn't waste any time. On towards Craig. Craig onto the left boot. Oh, he's got a short on. Maybe he should have driven long, I don't know. Mervyn Kane, the easy mark. 28-minute mark. The coach puts the ball out to the outer side. Hugh Sturt jumpers there, but it's read off the back beautifully. That's Owens who scoots back in towards goal. This looks like it'll come off. No, not quite. So Central's not the accuracy they need. They're That's behind. Six goals, four to tw Sturt's 12-5. That's the one weakness in his makeup, uh, Owens. He's just too quick for his own good. He's, he's, he's kicking the ball while he's running and doesn't quite get the effect of this out of his um, good work in winning the ball. Glenn Warren put it to himself and then gives it to the, the uh, coach, Mervyn Kane. He'll drive over centre wing. Long way up there towards Klopp. He's got a player chasing him in bone, but he gets his kick in. It's a grubby old kick along the deck. Thomas couldn't pick up. Viney the tackle. Out of bounds for the throw in. So the ball's moved very quickly down to the half forward flank, out of side for the Blues. 29 minutes gone in the quarter. De Rouge will ruck. Looks like Daryl Smith will go up the ruck rover for Sturt. Platten scooting around the outside of the pack, manages to get hands to it. Does he keep it in play? Not quite. There'll be a lot of time on, uh, Keith. There's been 12 goals kicked in the quarter. Been a good quarter for Sturt. Eight goals. Central's have managed four. Throw in. Out of side. Deruge against Smith for Sturt. That went up for it. Deruge probably, probably a dead heat. Hearn, Platten. And that looks like another stalemate. We'll see yet another bounce. Sturt continue to keep the ball in their attack zone. The bounce takes place on their half forward line. Clomp the tap that time. Platten riding it again. Viney with him though. Out of bounds. So the ball neutralised on the outer side in the dying moments of the second quarter. We're approaching the, th the 30 minute mark in fact. Spiel and Deruge. Spiel's in a mighty job. He'll deserve a rest at half time. Kick finally comes out. It's loose. Off hands. Chance for Bayern. He can't pick up. Under plenty of pressure. He's lost it, but he's got it back. And he takes off. Streaks through half back. Goes short. Finds Stephen Connolly. No, no. He's uh, missed the daisy cutter. The shoulder. And I'll tell you what, that kick to Stephen Barn wasn't meant for Stephen Connolly. Oh, oh gosh. Central's coming unstuck. Drogamola gets another chance, though. Back to Connolly. Connolly at last gets a decent kick right into the middle of the ground. Oh, well done, Platten. John Platten. Not paid somehow. Frost taps it on. Throw. She's the umpire. The Deruge for Central's with the ball in the centre of the headquarters here. Drive over the square. Motley got his eye on this one. He can't take it. Mervyn Kane, the crumbs at the back. He gets it out to Spiel. Spiel goes over to Eddie Fry. The Blues have got players running again. Greg Whittlesey out from defence. He's over centre wing and he's got Viney loose. Viney will, uh, well, if he can pick it up, should go over the top towards Hollis. He couldn't get his handball away quick enough. Frost, now Hollis. He turns, thought about the kick. Handball goes on quickly. Whittlesey still with it. He could even kick a goal as well. No, he gets on to Wilma. He might have had an opportunity there to kick a goal. Wilmot's got two, and Sturt, well, they're streaking away. 14, 13 goals, five to seven. Uh, would it be fair to say that not even the coach would have expected perhaps such a good win today? No, we were expecting a hard game. We were expecting Centrals to bounce, bounce back, naturally enough. Uh, and they worked pretty hard in the first quarter, and they were very pacey. 96 points, and now I realise what the crowd was, uh, was screaming for. Yes, now, you've only had a few minutes to think about it, but what are some of the factors that really took you so well clear of the docks. I think, uh, you know, we've looked at our training situation over the last couple of weeks and we've really set the, sat down and looked at a match plan and the players, full credit to them, are working very, very positively towards it. And, uh, you know, we're all, we realise that we're all into it. We've picked ourselves up from the grave a couple of weeks ago and now we're all ready to go. Now, the... Uh the man in the centre, John Painter, had to be an inspiration to the rest of the guys today. We ran out of touches, I think, on our stat sheet. Yeah, he was absolutely sensational. And Jack, Johnny had been around our best players all year. And um, 
you know, we put the acid on him this, uh, today to really perform and full credit to the guy. He just set about it in the way he went. It was fantastic. On the other hand, perhaps uh, some of the lesser known players also managed to really get the run going for you today. Yeah, they certainly did. I can think of one fella on the half back line, Lenny Warren, who did particularly well. One of his dashes through the middle was just a miracle. It was a tremendous pickup and he took off with it and I think it resulted in a goal. Yeah, under pressure a lot of times, uh, you know, burst out of a pack out of two or three uh, central players and that was top stuff to watch as well. You're looking for more from Jeff Martin, the boy from Mildura. He's not such a lad either, is he? He's a good, uh, experienced no, player. He's an experienced player. He's played in the VFL and he's coached up at Mildura, so he knows all the pitfalls.